A common technique that guitar builders and guitar repair people use in order to locate and isolate a fret which is causing string buzz is to use a fret rocker. I use them all the time. But I have another tool that I've been playing around with that's kind of helpful in this and you might find it interesting. It's a battery powered LED fret buzz finder. So let me bring you in closer and I'll show you this neat little tool. Okay, so what this little tool consists of is a nine volt battery and the negative wire coming off of the, the battery clip is soldered into this breadboard and it runs through the negative leg of a blue LED bulb. And then the positive wire has an alligator clip on the end of it, which I'll explain what it's used for in a minute. Then I have another wire which runs into the breadboard and through, it, it supplies the signal through a resistor, which then powers the positive leg of the LED. So when you touch these two together, the LED lights. So let me show you how this works to detect fret buzz. Now the way this works is I'm going to be trying to close the circuit in order to illuminate the LED. So if I touch this wire to the alligator clip on the battery, it illuminates. It closes the circuit and provides electricity to that LED and causes it to light. And that resistor prevents that LED from burning out. So what I'm going to do to test for fret buzz is I'm going to connect the alligator clip to the bridge. Now this bridge is all metal, so I can complete and close the, the, the circuit no matter which uh, string that I touch this end of the wire to. So I can touch any one of them and that's going to uh, illuminate the bulb. If this were an acoustic with a bone saddle, one would think that I would have to connect the alligator clip directly to the string that I'm going to be testing. But you can't do that in this sort of a uh, scenario because that clip is going to inhibit this string's ability to vibrate. What I can do, however, if it's an acoustic guitar, is I can attach the clip to the string that I'm testing on the tuner side of the nut. That won't inhibit the string from vibrating, and then I can perform the test that way. But since this guitar has an all metal bridge, I can just attach it anywhere on the bridge and I'll be able to close that circuit no matter what string I'm testing. And the way that I test is I will take this end of the, of the wire and I will touch it and hold it to the end of the fret. Now I would probably start all the way down here, but I've already tested this guitar so I know what to expect here. So I'm just going to uh, keep it short and bring it close to where we're having an issue. So I'm going to place it here on the sixth fret. And when I pluck this string, you'll hear it vibrate. You'll hear it buzz. But nothing's happening here. So I'll move up to the seventh fret. Again, nothing's really happening. Now, it's critical that you, when you pluck the string, you pluck it just hard enough to initiate some string buzz. If you pluck it too hard, you're going to illuminate that buzz no matter whether the fret is high or not. So you just have to kind of give it the right touch. Now we'll move to the eighth fret. And there it's starting to flicker. Just barely, but it's starting to flicker. Then I'll move up to the ninth fret. Barely, just barely flickering as it buzzes. Now here we are at the tenth fret, and it's flickering pretty strong. And here we are at the 11th fret, and it's getting even stronger. Twelfth fret, same thing. 
13th fret, 14th fret, 15th fret, it's starting to fade out a little bit. In fact, it's pretty much gone. 16th fret, same thing, it's, there's no flickering. So I know that somewhere, well, between the 8th fret and the 12th fret, or the 13th fret, those frets are fairly high. It's causing string buzz. In this instance, I think a simple truss rod adjustment to raise up the frets at either end of the fretboard is going to fix that problem. If it was just one fret causing buzz, I could then check it with my fret rocker to see if there's any rocking going on. That would indicate a high fret. But since this is a whole bunch of frets in this area, roughly the middle of the fretboard, I'm pretty sure that the issue is going to be, I need, there's probably a slight hump here and I can get rid of that by adjusting the truss rod. Okay, I'll admit, it's kind of a goofy tool, but that's kind of what this channel is all about. Coming up with goofy ways to solve problems when building guitars. And the circuit is incredibly simple. Now, I'll put a list of the bits and pieces needed to make this, and, and I may even throw in a, um, a downloadable circuit diagram, although this is so simple. If you've got a soldering iron and have wired up guitar electronics, this is something you can figure out just by watching this video. It's not that complicated, but I'll, I'll put a little diagram down there just to play it safe. At any rate, it does a great job of helping you to get an idea of where your string buzz is coming from because sometimes it's not just one high fret that's causing a problem. It may be a whole section of frets, which would indicate a problem with the uh, fretboard not being perfectly level, or maybe there's a hump or something in it. At any rate, once you've identified the high fret or the series of high frets, you can then diagnose the problem and determine a uh, a fix for it, whether it's to pull the strings and re-level, re-crown, and re-polish the offending fret, or make a truss rod adjustment to get rid of a hump or whatever you know that might be present on that uh, on those frets. So, uh, I hope you found this video to be entertaining or inspiring. You know, uh, I encourage you to try putting one of these together. It's a fun little simple project, kind of like uh, grade school science, <laughs> and. Uh, until the next episode, as always, click the thumbs up. If you don't subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell for notifications. If you want to show some support for this channel and all the work I'm doing on it for you, head over to eGuitarPlans.com and purchase a plan. Whether or not you intend to build whatever plan you purchase, it helps this channel. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.